and I'm back. And today, I have a project in that little door right there. Let's see what's in there. Oh, it's the hot water tank. Okay, so if you look up at the top of my video right here, there's a link to when I did a couple of things to this hot water tank. There's a link I did to a video when I changed the anode in the in this tank. One of the other videos I made was when I put a pan underneath the tank and a drain to outside. Okay, now don't run ahead and look at those right away. You can look at those later. Watch this video first. But um, we got a couple of things going on here. Um, the anode, I can see where I wrote on here, it was changed on August the 15th of 2021. And this is March of 2024, so almost three years. Okay, so it's time to take a look in there. Uh, the other thing I noticed here when I looked at this tank the other day is I have a drip from this valve right here. And you can see it's dripping on here. And it was, it was actually seeping in around this plastic plug that was in there and wetting the insulation. And uh, so I've got to change this valve and I'm going to change the anode. And there's actually another thing I've done in here is I've put a timer on this tank. So the tank only runs certain hours of the day and I can select those hours. And now I have a video for that that's coming up really soon on the channel. So for today, what we're going to do is we're going to isolate the power and the water from the tank. And what I have here, as you can see, there's a low ceiling over this tank. And I put this uh, anode in there when the tank was sitting out here on the floor when I installed it. And uh, it's a straight rod. It's like a it's a, it's a it's a rod about three quarters of an inch in diameter when it went in there, and almost the full length of the tank. But uh, you know you'd have to take the tank out um, to do that. But what they they sell now is, is a segmented rod. You want to help unwrap that, buddy? Huh? What about this? Oh, yeah. There's a guy. There's a guy. Why don't you push that down behind? Why don't you push that piece of paper down behind? boy. There, there you go. Huh? That's your favorite trick to push stuff off, isn't it? This is Chevy. This is my little shadow. He's my helper. Yeah, I've hired a helper. Okay, so segmented rods, where you can't get a straight rod in. They sell these ones now, and here's your anodes in sections, right? So you can get that into a spot, just like we have here, where there's a low ceiling above the tank. So when we pull this rod out, however deteriorated it is, uh, it's probably still not going to be able to be pulled up this way. I'll cut it off in sections as I bring it out. This particular kit came with some Teflon tape, and... Uh, for some people that don't have the, the appropriate size socket, this one comes with a socket. Look at that. It comes with a six point. I think it's inch and sixteenths. Well, they're calling that 27 millimeter. Yeah, so this is a, a six point 27 millimeter socket for there. Look at that. So that takes the guesswork out if you don't have the socket. It's a half inch drive socket. And they supply it with the kit. And this kit was about four dollars more than kits that didn't have the socket with it. So I thought pretty good buy to have it. Okay, now the way this is going to go here, we're going to change the anode in this tank. We have a segmented anode, as I showed you, to go in here. And I'm going to change this valve. Now I'm also going to uh, put this valve change up as a standalone video on my channel. And so people that go to see how you can change the valve uh, in PEX uh, can also be linked back to uh, this hot water series. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these videos, uh, individual videos, the one for the, the timer, the one for the valve change, one for the anode change, uh, and the one for the uh, original installation of the anode and the drain pan in a playlist on my channel. So you can just look uh, at the top header in my channel anytime and you see playlists and I'll put all the hot water videos in there. You're getting anxious to get this done, aren't you? Okay, let's get this done. 
I'm going to unwrap it. I know it's got to be unwrapped. You're going to help me unwrap it, right? That's the whole idea. Okay, I'll let you unwrap it. Okay, so we're here at the hot water tank. We're going to change this valve. It's leaking. Okay, so we've exposed the pipe. We have a replacement valve. It's PEX. Okay, and this is PEX. And this is three quarter on either side, and this is three quarter on either side of the valve. Now I've already turned off the water to the house, and I've turned off the power to the hot water tank. Okay, so what we can do here is we're going to, I'm going to use these these cutters, and I'm going to cut through the PEX pipe right here. There might be a little bit of water in here, but there's no pressure behind it. Okay. We're going to put the valve in here and then we're going to join a splice over here. So we'll put the valve in, we'll cut this, we'll trim this as we need. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a three quarter crimp ring on the end of this piece of PEX piping here. I have an extra piece. And then I'm going to put it on the valve like that. And I usually like to leave about an eighth of an inch showing here before I crimp it. Then we take the crimping tool. Okay. Like that. Okay. And that seals the pipe to the valve. So I put a crimping ring on the PEX pipe there. I'm going to put the new valve in here like that. And I'm going to crimp that. We just have enough room to get that in here. We just have enough room to get that handle in here to crimp it. It's a pretty tight squeeze, but we can get it. Okay, crimp that there, okay, we have an end to end joiner for three quarter pecs, so what we can do here now is we see where this, this one comes over to here so we can cut this one off here like this. that all right there's the old valve out of the way and one more on this end here all right and we'll put this joiner in there one that way one like that and we'll crimp those And crimp one at a time. Crimp this one first. Okay, that's the first one. Push that one in. And we'll get the second one. Okay. And that's it. It's joined there. And it's joined either side of the valve. Okay, so I turned the water on and I checked for leaks. No leaks. So then I re-insulated the pipe. And here's a little valve installed. That's the off position. That's the on position. All right, now let's change the anode. We've got the power turned off to the hot water tank and we've got the water turned off to the house. So we're gonna go down in here with a uh, 27 millimeter socket or inch and a 16th will do it if you don't have that. Okay, my assistant has got everything laid out for me here. Look at this. He's got uh, a segmented anode rod laid out, unwrapped. He's got a power bar, half inch ratchet, a half inch extension, and we've got the 27 millimeter socket, six point, that came with this kit, a little bit of Teflon tape.
thank you, Chevy, for all that hard work getting that laid out for me. Wow. Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Okay, so... Let's use that and take out the old one. All right. I've said that the power's off to the tank, and for anyone that's noticing that the clock is still running in here, there is a AA battery in this type of timer that maintains your settings when the power's off. So like during a power failure or for something like this, I'm doing maintenance on the tank. I've got the 240AC turned off, but that little AA battery in there is maintaining the clock. Now these are usually quite tight. All right, let's see what we can get done. Yeah, that's not too bad because it's been out before. Okay, it's turning. It's actually not too bad at all. Yeah. Okay, I've got a, some needle nose pliers to get down in there and grab a hold of that. There it is, I'm lifting it up. Okay, there's the old anode. Now it's still got a bit of life in it, but uh, I wonder if I can just bend it like that and bring it up a little at a time. Like that, bend it. I'm bending it a little bit. Oh, it's gonna saw it off. But I think it's uh, it's soft enough. See, it's soft enough that I'm being able to bend it like that and bring it out. There it is. And there's the whole thing. Where's my assistant? There's my assistant right there. What do you think of this, bud? Here you go. Look at this. So that rod has been in there for two and a half years. And it's still doing its job. But I'm going to change it. What do you think? You got uh, your approval to change it, Bob? Hey. Eh? Okay, so the new one, we're gonna coat the threads with Teflon tape. All right, that's lots of tape. Let's go with that. There's my buddy. What do you want with tape? You're not gonna push it down behind, are you? You're not gonna push that down behind. That's one, seg one segment. There's two segments. There's three. A little bit of water coming up. It's okay. And there's the last one. Okay. I guess I should have drained the tank out a little bit, but I didn't. Okay, down it goes. Okay, this is tight, no leaks. The valve has been replaced, no leaks. Everything's good. The only thing left to do is, I'm gonna leave this open for a day. I'm gonna make sure there is no leaks in a day and then I'm gonna stuff this with insulation and put the cap back on here. But what I'm gonna do right now to close the video is I'm gonna just freshen the ink on this because I had written on here the last time I changed the anode and that was on August the 15th of 2021. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to update it. And I'm going to put segmented anode. And I think that, that should be checked, you know, maybe in two years instead of three. And today's date was March the 8th. March the 8th, 2024. And one more thing before I go, what I did was I took that anode socket and I hung it here. I wrote anode socket next to it. And I happen to have a spare anode right here, another segmented one. So I've got that in the, in the, in the little cubby hole here. 
in case we need one. Anyway, that's so that's done. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up for this video if you don't mind. It helps the numbers for the channel. And we'll see you again here very soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now. Okay, I'm in a hardware store. And they got three quarter inch ball valves. Right there. Okay, let's get that.